Okay, I'm going to show you how this was brought up in the class the other day. Um, how to use PowerPoint and Windows Live Movie Maker. Uh, if you have PowerPoint 2010, you can actually save your PowerPoint presentation as a video. Um, I'm going to show you a way to do it with uh, PowerPoint and Windows Live Movie Maker. Uh, should already have. A okay. This is going to be the short version. I've tried this several times. I keep crashing my system. Um, home for sale. And you can move that up there. Um, I'll tell you right now, you could actually create your own, um, say, new, and um, use a different template. template I've got. Uh, you can use anything you want really. And you can say home for sale. You can change the color of the font. Um, you might want to do white so you can see it better. And we don't need this. And you can insert a photo the property you want to use. And let me get down here. Example property photos. And we'll use that'll work. Insert. Resize the image based on what you prefer. Okay. And we can duplicate this line. Change this picture. You can resize it again. Move it up. Let's insert another photo. Um, use the front door. Resize that a bit. Put that there. Save your project. You don't. If you you should save it so that you have it for later. However, if you're just trying to create, well, it's probably a good idea. Just go ahead and save it. Um, let me go up here. call it. Alright, now what you want to do is you want to you're going to export these out essentially. So you're going to save as you're going to select from this drop down you're going to select JPEG which is just a standard photo and we're at Hertzboro so save. You want to save every slide whether it's 2 or 200 and say OK. And you can close PowerPoint at that point. All of it. No. OK. Opening Windows Live Movie Maker. Um, actually, this is one I already created. Let me close that. Uh, new project. OK. We're going to add the videos. So go down here to Hertzboro. Home for sale, version 2. There's our slides. 
Control A to select them both, or all of them. These are all preset at seven seconds. If you click on video tools, there you go, seven seconds. We'll leave them at seven. Um, go back to the home. You want to add some music. These tunes here are some of the free music that I've received from Digital Juice. And um, let's choose Hero's Journey. Okay. And we're going to save this. This is going to be Home for Sale version 2. So, Hertzboro V2. I have another V2 out there, so the dash A is for me. Okay, so if you just played this now, and I, I'm not sure that the, video, the audio will come through um, with the headset. Okay, so fairly straightforward. You want to go ahead and do select all, and we're going to do uh, we're going to select fade. Here's your title caption, and you can just type in home for sale MLS number one two three four five six historical. Um, as I showed you in the class, uh, you can just adjust this any way you want, put it where you'd like it. Um, directed by, you can change that, and you can say, um, if you liked what you saw, Contact me or David or your name at okay and stretch that out a little bit and you might want to put it let's see right about there and make it bold so it stands out a bit. And another one is, um, you create another one that says, uh, um, email me at David at Homes, Phoenix City. Okay, you can use, you can capitalize the first, first letters of each word. It doesn't matter as far as the um, internet's concerned, because it just it lowercase, uppercase doesn't matter. This makes it a little easier for people to see, but and really that's all all that does. Okay, and of course you'd have your copyright at the end of your film. and then resize that okay and then go ahead and save your project again just trying to keep everything together and click at the front run your video Um, what I should note at this point is that these captions under text tools you can choose how they display so you could actually go with a cinemagraphic or cinematography look and so here you go
Okay. There's your video. And you, if once you're happy with it, with the transitions, uh, whatever you decide to do with it, um, there are animations that you can do. Uh, control A or select all. Choose your animation. Um, the one I would suggest is cross crossfade. Okay. And on pan and zoom, your choice, whatever makes you happy, um, whatever you think looks best and save your project again and then when you play it okay so, excuse me. Obviously, you can adjust whether the text scrolls or not. You can have it just sit still. It just depends on what you have um, um, selected to do in the video, which that's what the regular class is for. This is just to show you how you can use PowerPoint and Windows Live Movie Maker to actually create your video. So here you'd come down here and save your movie you could publish it if you thought it was absolutely perfect you could publish it to one of these sites or even other services uh, we're gonna just save it as a high definition display and I'm gonna come down here to the folder that we're actually working in and Hertzboro version 2 and save the program will run through and this will take a, uh, probably about a minute or less. Um, right now I'm just going to hopefully cancel. Yes. And I'll show you what a finished version of these movies looks like.